And hello again, it's Mac, and uh, welcome back to another Space Marine playthrough episode. We are getting into the campaign now. We are at the uh, chapter 12, Dying of the Light. The forces of chaos have been unleashed, and it's up to Captain Titus to uh, put them down. Reach the Titan Manufactorum, get to the Manufactorum Ajacus to secure the Titan War Machine. So the plan is to use the war machine along with the power source. Uh, can you see it on my belt? I managed to get a piece of the power source. We're going to supercharge this Titan to blast the uh, spire here, which has opened a gate into the, uh, into the warp, into the chaos realm. Uh, with the purpose of, of course, closing the gate because uh, chaos demons and fiends coming into this reality is, uh, is no bueno, right? So yeah, we are well past the halfway point of the campaign at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to move things along because uh, Space Marine 2 is out in just a few days. And I would like to get this wrapped up. So I'm just mentally and physically prepared for the sequel. I need to gird my loins, right? I don't know what that even means. <laughs> but have some closure. Have some closure experience, re-experience this wonderful game to its fullest, to, to completion, before selling in, really digging into the sequel, which I, I'm very much looking forward to. A ton of hype for Space Ring 2. Really nice to see it get, getting some uh, recognition, because I feel like Space Marine, uh, I mean, pardon me, Warhammer 40,000 has been on a very uh, steep trajectory upwards ever since the pandemic. As people stay at home, they start to get into indoor hobbies such as miniatures, wargaming. Um, I feel like the uh, hobby of Warhammer really started to take off during that time. I could be wrong, but that's just my observation. Of course, I've mostly been a fan of the property through video games and novels. One of these days, I will paint some minis for myself. Benjamin, something terrible has happened. Your mother, my Julia, we got caught in an orc ambush. They called it your sister. She was screaming, and your mother threw herself at them. They laughed, Benjamin. The worst sound I've ever heard. And I grabbed Hannah, the blood your mother. They took her and they broke her. A demon killed the Inquisitor Drogon and then possessed his body. Jeez. But why? Talking Alone, over there. there was no way the demon could get the power source past a million orcs. It needed help. And we obliged. I was deceived. I am responsible for chaos breaking through to this world. It's a heavy burden to bear. Yeah, I really wish um, there was an overlap on the dialogue, the audio log. Guess they expected me to just stay still for a bit and listen. Take that and that. Oh, we have another uh, drop pod up ahead. More goodies? Thunder hammer. Oh, iron halo. Look at that. Iron halo. This ancient artifact generates a personal energy shield that greatly reinforces the resiliency of space marine power armor, allowing them to weather even the fiercest attacks. Iron Halos are so rare that only Ultramarines, Captains, and Company Champions are authorized to use them. It's weird, because they already treat the armor in this game like it's a regenerating shield, right? But 
the, the, the main problem I have with upgrades in these very linear types of games is that they're just so prescribed. I mean, sure, I could just walk past the drop pod and not pick it up, and the rest of the game would be of a greater challenge, but... Most everyone's gonna pick them up, and they're all gonna pick them up at the same time, and then from that point on, the game's gonna be balanced for the fact that you picked up the Iron Halo, or you picked up the, the new weapon, right? So it's all sort of, I don't know, it's kind of superficial, I guess is what I'm trying to say, whereas you have maybe an open world game where you're not guaranteed to pick up certain powerful items or perks, right? On that fateful journey through the war, in my exhausted musings, I let my guard down, something a psyker should never do. My desire, my psychic will, reached out into the wall, and the wall reached back. A spark of warm energy hit before me, tentative, flickering, and powerful. I felt it batter my psychic shields. My shock was absolute. I lost focus. The spark disappeared. I knew I had to get it back. You lost your spark, eh, Drogon? <laughs> you lost more than that. I guess it's, uh, no point, uh, kicking a dead horse. Ah, uh, poor Drogon. He got what was coming to him. Messing with powers way beyond him. Ultramarines attack! the melee right now. So we got some uh Walk in front of your line of fire there, Sedonis. Chaos Marine, traitor! Traitor, come back! Oh! Got a phone call, be right back. A few moments later. And I'm back from my phone call, sorry about that. Ooh. I guess they didn't really introduce these Chaos Marines in a very dramatic fashion. They just sort of appeared. They're they're in a they're in the middle of a pitch to gunfight, and you just see them fighting with the Chaos Demons and the Orcs. I hear an audio log. Just a quick note: I am expecting a phone call from my uh, family doctor at some point. So we may have another quick intermission. I'll have to just stitch it in, stitch things together in post-production, that's okay. I have thought the last phone call was from my doctor, but it wasn't, so it was a false alarm, unfortunately. Still an important phone call. Oh no, this is gonna... This is gonna be a brain worm now. I hear the audio log. 
but I can't see it. I can't see it. It's right here. I mean, it ought to be just around this corner if they're being fair about it. I don't know. I may just have to keep going. I think I've already missed one. I, I hear. I heard the the audio cue before, and I just have to keep moving on because I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, it's uh, it's annoying. Sometimes I feel like the level designer maybe put the audio emitter too close to an area where the audio log would just be inaccessible. And if they were just a bit more careful with placing the audio emitters, then we wouldn't have this problem. So I don't know if I mentioned before uh, the, the campaign as it stands is really quite long. You're looking at a pretty chunky 50, you know, 12 to 15 hour campaign. Believe it or not, it used to be much longer. Mm. Power Axe is a bit more versatile, lets me use my two other weapons. Captain, duty requires that I put voice to my concerns. What Speak is it? To. You held the unshielded power source again, Captain. And again, you emerged from the exposure unscathed. I'm just special, you know. Oh. The Codex Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly, but the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving. I think Leandros' concerns are fair, but now is definitely not the time and place. I agree with uh, Titus on this one. We'll we'll figure out later because what do you what do you expect to do now? Right, we're in the middle of a mission. We got a job to do, and we have a chain chain of command. By the way, <laughs> here we go. That was a really short one. Okay, I don't know why they uh, allow you to go back here. There's nothing going on. Hoop. Yeah, we got a chain command, Leandros. And Right now, as a commander, as your commander, I say we move on and we'll deal with this uh, warp resistance later. If you feel like I'm a heretic, then you can tattle on me. You can report me to our supervisor. I guess that'd be the uh, chapter uh, Chapter Commander, the Chapter like Grand, I don't know what the title is called. Almost a like Grand Duke, but <laughs> Grand Master. Yeah, there we go. The Grand Master of the uh, Grey Knights. More empty rooms. Nice. 
Uh oh. Oh, these are, uh. They're corrupted guardsmen. Keep coming or what? No. War portal. Kill the weak. Runners, attack. Good There's a good place to pop the uh, fury. I was in the thick of it. That's it. Oh shit. Low cover. Here I come. Exactly. I guess we have to go downstairs. Clumsy. I did it again. I ran into this. It's kind of camouflaged. Also, I'm also I'm bl I'm blind. Running's at low cover, and I'm trying to charge. Where are they all coming from? Well, from Demon Land, of course. Guardsman, report. Thanks to me. Guard outpost. So what I was saying uh, a little bit earlier was that uh, the entire campaign used to be much longer. I think close to 20 hours. And then I remember the, uh, the publisher from THQ, they sent somebody to Relic to do a little bit of consultation. I think he did kind of the equivalent of a mock review of the game. And who was this guy? I'm not entirely sure. He was some kind of director or an executive from THQ. Some guy who's like a fixer, I think. And he came in and assessed the game and pointed out a number of ways that they could improve things. Tight tighten it up, you know. And I would say by and large, from what I know. The advice he gave was pretty sound, like based on the changes they made based on his recommendations, I think worked out. One of them was to shorten the campaign drastically. So they cut out an entire chapter. There's a chapter bef before the chaos invasion. There's a, a whole chapter dedicated to uh, tracking down uh, one of the weird boys. And then uh, there's a very, very uh, lengthy boss battle with uh, the, the weird boy at some point. And the whole thing was like, it's quite long. Shouldn't waste last cannon shots on the uh, fiends. Is ammo here? Okay. 
Just taking pot shots on people. Oh, he shot at me without even like pointing in my direction. Okay, finally. <laughs> Vaporized. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm too far away to execute you, so I'll have to make do with wasting another round of ammo. Shooting at me from the side. It's gonna blow. You're mine. Here. Oh shit. Give me your health. You owe me big time. Are you serious? Scratched up. Good thing I got my iron halo. Go on, double time, Sidonis. Double time it. Let's go. An orc invasion. And now the tender mercies of chaos heretics. I'm surprised the place is standing at all. Fade out. How, how can we face the, the legions of chaos? Trooper, get yourself together right now. Yes, ma'am. The other platoons are going to fall back towards the bastion. Hold this position, or they'll be cut off. Greetings, Ultramarines. What is your situation, Lieutenant? As well as can be hoped, considering we are surrounded on all sides by the enemy horde. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. They do a pretty good job with uh, Lieutenant Mira. Strong female character without being too overt about it, I guess. She's just there. She's doing her thing. Oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't realize the orcs are just right outside here. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of strange. <laughs> I thought this was like a safe area. Pardon me. I've got like a slight itch on my in her arm here. Okay, I think I'm good.
Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'm dry. something back there. Oh no, that's nothing. It's just a light. Okay, never mind. Well, I made a right mess of everything. We have an audio log over here. up on the last cannon. Need more humans to kill. Boy. <laughs> oh, they go the wrong way. Fuzz. I really hate when you do that. Can't uh oh. I thought I had my fury, but I don't. Where did you guys come from? Oh, I got fury now. Highest crown. So over overkill there. Pretty awesome scene, just because there's just so much happening. Jeez, I had a feeling. I had a feeling they'd be sneaking up right about now. Don't use the ammo just yet.
nice area. You just get to unload on the on the hordes. Oh, there's gonna be some serious, seriously impressive hordes in the uh, sequel. The swarms of Tyranids everywhere. Ooh, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. Right in the face there. Just one more missile. Enemy. Oh. What a battle. Well met, Mira. Jonah, I half expected to find a demon chewing on your bones. Well, they'd spit me right out. Oh, pardon me, I missed the uh, joyful reunion, but I gotta go scavenge. Grenades, great. I think I vaguely remember making this area bug out when I was testing. When I was testing it. I, I, I think if I don't go into the lift with them right away, something happened and there was like a, a soft lock. Got soft locked. Okay. Yeah, this was a fun, this was a fun arena to do battle in. Hoping for some more grenades, but that's okay. Now. Make your report, Jen. The Greenskins have been pressing us hard, both down here and at the Bastion problem. Get ready to fall back to the Bastion. Do not engage Chaos forces directly until I get reinforcements down here to back you up. I left challenge. So we're, we are getting close to the climax of the game. We've had our uh, second act turning point already. And we're ready to, yeah, we're pretty much on our way to Captain the climax. Titus. This way. <gasps> this way? Okay, I guess there's no way here, so... That's a dead guardsman. Lieutenant Mira, this is Bastion Primus. We're under heavy assault. The orcs are back. And they cut power to the sentry guns. All of them? They took out the generator. We couldn't defend it against such numbers. We had to fall back. The Ultramarines and I are almost at your position. Mira out. With my psychic abilities, I had drawn energy from the warp. If I could... Summon it again, contain it, control it, then perhaps I could use it to defend the Imperium. So, I made another interstellar journey through the warp. Barely daring to hope, I lowered my psychic defenses and willed the energy to return. And it did. I captured the spark in a containment device and marveled at its potential. My work could now begin. I know that was such a wise thing to do, Drogi. Definitely bit off more than you could chew. Let's pick up the pace. More, more supplies. Genetic scan complete. Oh. A 
Plasma gun unlocked. The MK-12 Ragefire type plasma gun fires charge energy pulses able to damage heavily armored targets. This weapon is deadly but prone to overheating. Hell yeah. Just when I thought I had picked up all the toys that I would ever get. There's always more orcs. Yeah, true. Oh, here we go. I almost, almost walked past this one. It's been three days since I know we've done. The orcs have finally left the temple. They access the comm station. The liberation of leaders in the world. The ultramarines leading the advanced force. Firepower. Hope you don't mind. More green skins. Excuse me. Forward. Imperial Guard, stand your ground. The Ultramarines are here. Come on. There we go. These guardsmen really got my way. I can't turn on my fury while I have the uh I'd be careful. Come on, are you serious? It's worth dying. Man, oh man. Just have to lead the guy all the way around the corner. Because uh, I can't be fighting him while I'm just being pelted with the uh, fire. Okay, yeah, so the audio log stays picked up, which is nice. Guardsmen better get the hell out of my way. Nice. 
よしそう much easier going in with a、uh, more controlled、uh, firing the heavy bolter. And I'm going to wrap it up here for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the、uh, playthrough series of Space Marine. I will be back fairly soon. I'm, I'm really trying to push through the rest of this campaign. So look for another episode to drop on the channel very, very soon.、Uh, in the meantime,、uh, please like if you enjoyed the video and do consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate the support. And I do love that everyone is just enjoying these videos of Space Marine. Until next time, I will,、uh, yeah, until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.